when it comes to grooming our dogs at home, there are some common mistakes that owners, including myself, can unintentionally make, which can lead to pain or discomfort for our pets. The first is not getting your dog's nails trimmed regularly and allowing them to grow so long that they become painful for your dog to walk on. On the flip side, it is cutting the quick of the nail. That's the red part you can see in a white nail, which contains a nerve that causes pain when cut and a lot of blood. This results in many dogs becoming very anxious about having their nails trimmed. So if you are unsure, take them to a groomer or vet in between professional full grooms. The next mistake many owners make is over washing their dog, which can dry out the oils that they need for a healthy skin and coat. So research the ideal grooming schedule for your dog's breed, because it can be really different between them. There are some deodorising and conditioning sprays in the DGG range that you can use instead on your dog in between those washes. Some people use human shampoo or one filled with nasty chemicals which can disrupt the acidity levels, leaving dogs vulnerable to parasites and bacteria, not to mention making their skin dry and flaky. Look for a natural shampoo that is pH balanced for pets. It's soap free, contains no nasties like SLS or parabens, and is full of natural botanicals that will nourish your dog's skin and coat, like those in the DGG range. Be mindful that the water isn't too hot or cold either. Just like you would with a baby, put your hand under and make sure it feels okay. Not rinsing the shampoo off properly is also another common mistake, as is allowing shampoo and water to go into a dog's eyes and ears. It's important to cover these and instead simply wipe down the inside of their ears and under their eyes with a damp cloth. For breeds with long floppy ears, good ear care is really important, so talk to your vet or groomer. Not brushing your dog regularly, washing them with matted hair and not removing the undercoat before wetting those with double coats are also all common mistakes that result in painful, tangled matted hair that can also become a breeding ground for bacteria and infection. Regular brushing also helps to keep your dog clean, distributes oils through the coat, prevents matting, increases circulation and reduces shedding. The rule of thumb is once a week, then an extra brush for every centimetre of their hair per week. So if you've got a dog like Vindy, it might change as it grows. Then they're shaving a dog with a double coat. Think it will help keep them cool when it's actually the undercoat and not the outer one that needs to be removed. And finally, make sure you dry your dog off properly and avoid brushing them when wet to help make it easier and less painful. Use a detangling spray to help, especially if they have long curly locks. To find the right shampoo, brushes and other grooming tools to help avoid some of these mistakes, check out the DGG grooming range at your local pet specialty store or visit the DGG website.